Hi there, I'm Carolyn Dunn from Dunn Reimagined Designs. Welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to be working on this tea light holder. The mold is from the Happy Dotting Company. And I cast the piece with UltraCal 30. I like using this pink flexible silicone stencil to create the grid lines on the, the tea light holders I make. It's a little difficult to see on the screen, but this stencil actually makes it easy to fairly accurately get your center. The edge of the outside of the circle where the hole is lies just above the bottom of the second round of tees. If you can get those spots even around the edge, you should be right on for your grid lines. And these are the colors that we're going to be using on this tea light holder. Titanium white, dark chocolate, Mississippi mud, burlap, desert turquoise, turquoise, and whispering turquoise. Now I'm going to start with the white dotting tool and I'm going to do a row of white dots all the way around. And using the large end of the white tool, you can typically get about three dots per section. Okay, so we're on to our second round of dots and these dots are in the color burlap and we're using the large end of the white tool again. Uh, by the end of it we'll have four rounds of dots and we'll be ready to start on the larger flower pattern. Now we're moving on to the Mississippi Mud, one of my favorite colors, and um, we're going to be using the large end of the blue tool. Increase that size as we go out further in the circle. What do you think? Chocolate brown, or the dark chocolate, or the milk chocolate? I'm feeling a little more like it's going to be the dark chocolate. Which is close to Mississippi mud, but Mississippi mud has more of a gray tinge to it. Yeah, I think this is going to be good.
doing a little touch up. Here, I believe that was the blue tulle in our Mississippi mud. I got some of the dark chocolate on there. So, so now we're going to take some desert turquoise and we are going to create some dots. And so this is, I believe, is 16 divisions. And so we'll do every two. Oh, we nice. want to see what size we want. And you want to have enough room to get your petals around. So I'm thinking 18. And then we could get another row in there too. every two and we're coming down just a tad from the dots above. That one is not quite... <laughs> okay, leave it alone. start walking these dots. Let's see which end we're working with here. So I did uh, the first dot with the large end of the white tool and I take it halfway with the big end. And switching to the small end for the second half. This is uh, Whispering Turquoise. Let's use the large end of the blue tool and create those top dots at the top of those petals. And that's in Indian Turquoise. Let's take this down with the white tool, the large end of the white tool. Next is the desert turquoise. So this is the same color as the center dot, but we're going to top dot that center dot. And now we're going to, let's get a green tool, make that really big. And we'll walk those dots down and then move on to our swooshes. So we're going to go up in the middle with some swooshes. This is a very basic pattern. Um, so it's easy, easy enough to do. We're using Mississippi mud and we're using burdap. Probably take the Mississippi mud up the middle, probably use the blue tool. Okay, and then on either side, we'll put the burlap. And we'll come down to 
just about here. So we'll load the large end of the blue tool with paint uh, even a couple of times and then we'll drag it down with the small end of the blue tool. Make sure to leave enough room on either side for your other swooshes. And actually we're going to come down just a little bit more. Perfect. Right about there, right about where those, those dots are. And just make sure you leave yourself enough room to put your other swooshes in. I have a definite thing where I always seem to end up making my swooshes quite fat. And you want to be going towards the center, but you do have to look at both sides and see, oh, do I need a little more room on one side or the other? And now the burlap. I'm using the large end of the tool, the blue tool, to create that dot. And I was going to switch to the small end of the blue tool, but I thought even that was going to be too big. So I switched off to a smaller tool with a pointier tip. So I could drag those, those uh, swooshes down there without um, squeezing it too much. So with this pattern, I'm just going to repeat it and we're going to go that and that. We've got just enough room to do that. So we're going to put our desert turquoise large dot right under here. And we'll be using the number 19 in the DIY Mandala Stones tools. Okay. You have to be careful. It's awkward. You know, you know the drill. So we get lots of paint on there, and we're going to come down just below it. So 
So here's what I do. I found a container, a Liquitex container, that's just the perfect size to turn my tea light ho holder over and, and that fits just right into the little hole there. So it's per a perfect stand for being able to do the backside work. So here we're using the orange tool with the um, whispering turquoise and we are just walking some dots down the sides of that um, desert turquoise dot in the middle. second row of dots in the Indian turquoise. And we'll be using the large end of that blue tool to place the uppermost dot and also to walk the dots down. So the little Liquitex uh, bottle stand worked for a little while, but there came a point where I just couldn't see underneath enough to be able to accurately place my dots. So wait until your paint is dry enough that you can handle your piece and then um, you'll have to hold it while you're, you're putting your dots on. And you may need to stabilize your baby finger on something just to keep it still enough. I apologize for the vertical frame here. I'm not sure what happened. Anyhow, we're now working on the last row of dots in the desert turquoise and we're using the large end of the green tool uh, for the top dot and to walk those dots down as well. And now we're ready to start our round of swooshes on our second row. This will be identical to the first, so very easy. And using the Mississippi mud as the central swoosh and uh, the burlap on either side. And we're using the large end of the blue tool to start and then we're dragging it down with the small end of the blue tool.
Now we're on to the burlap paint and we're using the white stylus to drag these swooshes. And now to add those whispering turquoise top dots. Once we're finished these top dots, we will be done painting. It'll be time for cleanup. Get rid of those chalk marks and do any touch-ups. Following that, we're going to be getting ready to varnish. I like to use uh, Liquitex high gloss varnish on my pieces and I use a foam brush but I also use a bristle brush to get the inside of the tea light holder hole. Several coats and then we are ready to present our final piece. And now I present the Meditation Mandala tea light holder. Just breathe. We did it. Simple, calming, and beautiful. Thank you for joining me on another dot art adventure. I hope you found it as meditative as I did. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and make sure to check out some of my other videos. I'm sure you'll like them. Until next time, keep on dotting. Bye bye for now.